So after putting the front end loader on, I still wasn't happy with the speed and the response, response time that I was getting out of it. Also the hydraulic pump started making a buzzing humming noise again. So I pulled it all back down and this is what I found. So this is the hydraulic oil strainer and when I put my finger in there and use my fingernail to scratch inside that should be a wire mesh feel. It did not feel like that. So I pried back the wire mesh to further inspect between the layers which I wouldn't have thought there would be anything in there. So using a car aerial I managed to drag this bit of stuff to the outside edge. Look at that, an old piece of gasket found its way between the layers. So here you can see I've squeezed the mesh back down to where it came from, the roundabouts. From my own experience I'd have to recommend checking between these layers very thoroughly. And check the o-ring on here as well, you don't want that to be sucking in any air. Alright so, now yeah, throw it all back together. All done. So just showing the slow speed and the high speed. And also the track is pretty much at idle, so it would go faster if I bring the revs up as well. So further along I'll show where I've positioned the levers to work for me for slow and high and where I've adjusted the high and low speed too. See here, it's slowly going up. Pull the lever right around, and they'll move. And come over here. By the time I get here, it's already that far off the ground. Thank <laughs> you. 